Fox 5 News starts now. Tense moments in court today surrounding the custody battle that ended in a deadly shooting inside a Summerlin law office last week. The ex-husband, Dylan Houston, is facing the family of his ex-wife, Ashley Prince, for the first time since police say his father killed Ashley and her new husband. This all happened last Monday during a deposition hearing in Summerlin, where Houston's father shot and killed Ashley and Dennis Prince. Today, Dylan Houston and Ashley's family gathered in court to talk about custody of the couple's two children. Fox 5's Victoria Saha was inside that courtroom today. She joins us now live with more. Victoria. Yeah, that hearing lasted about two and a half hours. It was a hearing that was extremely tense, extremely heated and confrontational on both ends. As lawyers on Ashley Prince's side, the pages are continuing her fight on that custody battle that started over two years ago with her ex-husband, Dylan Houston. This was the very first time we were able to see Dylan or hear from him as well. A big part of this hearing was bringing Dylan's alleged past of drug and alcohol abuse and whether or not the kids should be spending time with him. In court, we also found out from the pages that um, the pages attorney that Metro is pursuing an investigation into whether or not Dylan had any prior knowledge about his dad killing his ex-wife Ashley Prince and Dennis. The judge ordered Dylan to get the kids three times a week and those visits actually start tomorrow only if Dylan is able to surrender his guns on time to Metro. As Ashley's family stated, they still don't feel safe. Your Honor, yes. again, my clients are in fear of their life right now. I, I think it's appropriate to deal with securing the plaintiff's weapons, Judge. Because while he says we have no evidence of him mis misusing a handgun, we produced a video of him smashing things with a baseball bat. I do want to point out that surrendering the weapons was originally a discussion from both ends to see if both ends would um, give up their weapons during all of this. But then the judge ultimately said it would have to be Dylan who would have to surrender his weapons to Metro. I also want to add that Dylan had full support on his side. His family was there. His two sisters were there as well. One of those sisters now has been ordered to be the supervisor when Dylan um, is able to visit with his kids. And those visits actually start tomorrow only if those weapons are out of the house. Victoria, was there any interaction between Dylan Houston and Ashley's family in this hearing? No interaction, but John, it was tense. You can feel it. I think we all felt it. The courtroom did have um, a lot of security, and even at the end of that uh, hearing, each family was escorted out, out um, within a big chunk of a time frame. So um, they had to. Ashley Prince's family was escorted out first. Everyone had to wait in the courtroom um, with uh, the Houston's, and then several minutes later, uh, the Houston's were escorted out only after security got the clearance that Ashley's parents were out. Victoria, thank you. And the hearing comes just a day after Ashley's new husband, attorney Dennis Prince, who was also killed in the shooting, was laid to rest.